All right, welcome back everyone. Um, in my video tutorial series, I wanna talk about using web background graphics and how we can uh, take advantage of using um, tiling effects to be able to take smaller graphics and not have to make them quite so large. But before I do, I, I just gotta make this disclaimer. This, the graphics I'm gonna do are ugly. I am not a graphic designer. This is more about the technique in general, what it is. And so when you see this web background here, I wanna show you what's going on. This image is not very wide at all, but it's being tiled. So, oh, I didn't mean to do it that way. So let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go in here, and if you look here at the styles, you'll see background image, we have a URL, and we have a background repeat of repeat X. Okay, now if I make that a no repeat, watch what happens, no repeat, that graphic is only 20 pixels wide. It only covers just a small portion of the W on Web Backgrounds project. So when you're not repeating it, it's a very thin graphic, but it's relatively tall. And I'm gonna go back and just put a repeat X, sorry, repeat X. And what that means is we're talking along the X axis. In other words, horizontally tiling. Now there's another graphic that I did as well here where I'm making uh, a variety of, um, of different colors and regions. And let me also take the background repeat off. No repeat. That is the graphic just on one side. And I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna take the background color off and you can see what's happening here. This graphic ends down here. But because this color, I know the color, I can make the background color of the page that same color and we don't see where that image leaves off. And then as soon as I do a repeat Y, or a repeat X, excuse me, then it repeats from left to right. So that's um, the general idea of what we're talking about here. And so I'm gonna give you just a couple more little technical details about what's going on, um, and then we'll just do it in our code. Basically, I wanna cover how to create your graphics in Photoshop and how to use CSS to tile them, either left to right, top to bottom, or just completely tile as if like the entire web page. Now, this article here, I just discovered today after I already talked to one of my classes, and here's one where they do a good job of talking about background image techniques that you can do. And I'm gonna jump down a little bit, okay? And, um, and so what I wanna show you is right here. So there's a couple things you can do for background graphics. I mean, you can make a really large graphic, and I really like this idea here, is they create a texture, then they add a color gradient, and they combine the two to make a more interesting background graphic. Okay, so there's a video on here you can go. I could post the link on the site. We're gonna go down a little bit further. Now we're gonna talk about tiling graphics. So in one case, you can do a pattern like the following, and let's really zoom in on this. If you'll notice, this one graphic, when it gets tiled, expands, and you can't tell where it ends and where it begins. And that's because the bottom will match up with the top. So the top of this graphic is the same as the bottom of the graphic. And the right will match the left. And the top matches the bottom. And you see how that works? As long as they all match, then that will just tile indefinitely. And as you can see, it's just a very smooth tile. So it's, it's important when you do this that you try to make sure things are gonna be even and they're gonna match. So now before I do all of the creating of the graphic and tiling it, uh, there's a couple others I wanted to show you. So in my folder, I have a couple other background graphics. I have a horizontal background like this that has a dark um, black section and then a kind of a teal and then as we go down it starts going into lighter and lighter colors That's one and another background graphic. I have a skyline which looks like this So let me show you how I adjusted that skyline plus there's one other one. that's just a tiling pattern uh, There's this one and there's this one So I want to show you these two colors and and how they got put together so I'm going to go to this JavaScript page where I applied it. And on the JavaScript page, what you can see here is you can see there is that one graphic you saw that got tiled left to right. And because the left-hand side matches with the right, we can tile it. 
In fact, if you look at the graphic close enough, you can see there's a region of just pure green between this, this circle and this circle. And I'm guessing it probably just breaks right about there so that the left-hand side can match the right-hand side. The other thing you'll notice is that I made use of two different background graphics. One is on the body, and one is this one on the header. Now, if I take it off of the header, you can see the one in the body. So you can layer graphics by applying them to different regions of your page. So in this case, the body has this particular graphic. And let's go ahead and take the repeat off. Now we can see that the no repeat, it just goes like this. And one other thing you want to make sure when you do these graphics, especially with a one that tiles as you go down, a lot of times it's a good idea to have your graphics stop at a certain point and have the bottom of your graphic just be the same color as the background color of the page. So that's another technique that you want to do when you do this. And then, of course, we go back to the header, and let's bring that particular graphic back. Okay, right now there's no uh, background repeat, so I'll just show you that real quick. Background repeat, and we'll just do no repeat. So as you can tell, it's exactly what I guessed, and that's the right-hand side here matches the left-hand side here. It's pretty much the same color. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start making these graphics. Actually, before we do the graphics, let's take a look at the HTML that's going on. So I put this skyline at the bottom of my page. You could do the same thing where you put it at the top of your page as well. And then, of course, you can take items and uh, run them down from top to bottom on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, or on both. So there's a lot of endless combinations. So we're going to start with the simple template HTML document. And I'm just going to go to, uh, I'm going to open this one with Adam. Okay, so here's the template, uh, HTML template, and you can take a look at the tags. If, you, if you're my, one of my students, you should already have an example of the template. You can just copy and paste into your folder. You want to put all your files in one folder. Now, there's a style tag in here. I'm just going to close this for a moment to keep this out of the way. We'll deal with the style later. For now, I just want to show you, you, you want to obviously put a title, you're going to have a body, and in there, you're going to put some stuff here. All right, so a couple things we're going to do on here. Uh, we'll put a web tiling graphics project. We'll title it this. Uh, we're going to change this template to index. So we'll do this file save as. We'll just call it index.html. This will be the home page. You get to decide how you want to style this home page. And uh, my recommendation is that in each of your pages, you're going to have four pages in all. I recommend you do two horizontally tiling graphics and two vertically tiling graphics. But if you want to mix it up, that's fine too. Just have at least one example of each. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that paragraph. And I'm going to create a nav tag. I'm going to create a whole nav bar. And I'll, I'll code it, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Here's what the nav... Uh, nav bar is going to look like so we can navigate and take a look at all your different website projects, um, all the different ways you've tiled your graphics. I'm just going to copy that right there, close the style tag again, and change that right here. Okay, so what you want to do is the, the first link should always be the home page link. So we're just going to type index.html and we should put on here home. It's common. All right, index. Then um, you're going to do like a horizontal tiling, a vertical tiling. So I'll just do a horizontal one and a horizontal two. Copy and paste is your friend. Hey, oh. So at this point, I went ahead and just put what the links are going to be horizontal one, horizontal two, vertical. Homepage, I'll probably make use of a vertical as well, but I haven't decided yet. So um, I'm just going to name these after that. So it's horizontal one, and I'll just go ahead and code that and come back. So when you're done, you can just see that my file names pretty much match what I put in my link. I'm going to go ahead and save that. The other thing I recommend you do is put in some content in your page after the nav bar so you can see what it looks like. And the best way to do that, I recommend, is go to a website where you get... Um, like lorem ipsum or some kind of dummy text, I prefer to go to Philorama. 
So I'll just go ahead and put the link. So the filler HTML below is from fillerama.io. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go to the website and grab some and just drop it in.